Hey guys, welcome to Job School. Uh, it's Dawson and with Reika. Yes, hi. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah. <laughs> hi, my name is Reika. I am from Hiroshima, Japan, and I am half Japanese and half American. And American? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, we're, today we're going to talk about how to order some food at a restaurant. Yeah, great. So Reika is going to help me and she's going to be waitress and oh, I'm, I'm going to be angry, angry customer. <laughs> All right, let's get into this lesson. Hi, are you ready to order? Yeah, I would like spaghetti and mm, soup on the side. What kind of soup would you like today? What kind do you have? We have chicken noodle and tomato soup on the menu. Mm, chicken noodle, please. All right, would you like anything to drink? I would like a glass of wine. Sure thing, I'll bring that right away. Can I bring you anything else? Can I get to-go box and the bill? Of course, I'll bring it right away. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed your meal. I did, thank you so much. First phrase you probably heard at the video was, are you ready to order? Ready to order. Um, what's that? Like, wh when can you use that? Ready to order. So, that was from the waitress's side asking like, are you ready? Mm. So, are you ready to order means, do you have what you want in mind? Choose. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready to choose. So, yeah. uh, next phrase is, I would like. I would like something, something. So, for example, what can we say? I would like... I would like spaghetti mm. or I would like the pizza. Mm. Same with the question, right? Mm. How can you ask a question? Would you like some pizza? Mm. Yes. Kind of like that. It's a polite way to ask instead of just saying, I, I want, want pizza. Mm. Yeah. I, I would want. like. Yeah. I think like I want sounds kind of rude. Isn't yeah. It? Mm. I it's want. It's a little bit entitled in mm. my mind. Yeah. No one like. How to say um, yeah, it's not regular to say that right yeah I want or something all right let's go to next one is what kind what kind of so it's more specific yeah right? when you ask something um, what can we say so what kind would be like what type mm. if there's maybe red blue yellow which one would you like what kind would you like is yeah. the phrasing would use it's cool it's cool and when you answer to that, what can you say? Uh, the answer would be one of the options that the recipient gives you. Mm. So for example, if what kind do you have? Well, we have red, blue, and yellow. Mm. Then you would say, I would like the yellow. Mm. So like that. Choose. Yeah. Something. All right. Uh, number four is bring that way. Ah, right way. Bring. Bring that right away. Um, bring that right <laughs> away. <laughs> oh my God. So bring that right away mm. um, is more for the waitress to be like, oh, mm. like I'm just going to come back right away. So I'll be right back to give you what you want. So bring. So bringing what you want fast. Mm, right away. Yes. So can I also say that? Like bring that right away or it's kind of also rude. How can I say um, I want it, it right away. It would be a little bit... It's not rude. Mm. Can I... For example, I would like a glass of wine right away. So before Oh yeah, food. of course, you can order that. That's mm. not too rude. Cool, cool. And uh, when, um, when can we use a phrase, here's or here you go? And when you're giving something to someone, you mm. could just put it in front of them and be like, here you are. Or here's what you asked for. So it's a way of presenting something. Mm -hmm. and kind of making conversation while you do it yeah and of course we should enjoy our food and our meal yes that's true, enjoy right? your meal that's a great way if you are a waiter to like just make it a nice environment and like show that you care about the customer and that they're having a good time so just say enjoy your meal yeah or you can also say i enjoyed yeah or as yeah. a response you can say yeah i enjoyed it very much mm. Um, or you can just say, I hope you have a great day, just to be nice. It's great. Mm. And uh, yeah, we didn't use this phrase in our dialogue, but we would, uh, we would, would like to explain about some cultural differences. Uh, yeah, mostly in the US, um, 
yeah who pays like for example if you go on a date or if you go with someone like do you split a bill with your friend mm, or you... it's interesting sometimes if i'm on a date a guy likes to offer to pay i'm a person that likes to pay for my own meals mm. just because i don't know i can't really say that men make more these days so it's kind of an equal mm. thing so i would try to pitch in my equal amount um in what US. in the states yeah mm. um what me and my friends often do is one person pays for the meal and the other person pays for drinks or the tip mm. i see so you can say we can split the bill mm -hmm. yeah splitting the bill is a great way to say it like if you want to split it halfway mm. or um, what my, me and my friends usually do is like, I'll take the bill. Can you pay the tip? <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, or you can just say like, if you're um, someone who wants to pay for everyone, it's on me. Yeah, mm. that's perfect actually. It's on me. Good, good. So, but I feel like in Japan, mostly guys should yeah. pay. Should pay? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't, um... Traditionally, yeah. Or if you're with a company yeah, and company, your course, workers, yeah. the boss is always yeah, the I mean, like, if, if it's a couple. If it's a couple, yeah, I feel like guys tend to pay more. But in the US? Like... In the States, same. Guys usually tend mm -hmm. to pay more. I'm just like, no, I, I think have it depends my on the money. Couple, yeah, maybe. that's uh, true. Depends on the couple. Or I'll get the next one. That's a good uh, way to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking next turns, time. yeah. Yeah, or sometimes I've also seen um, or heard the people like who invites, mm. they Yeah, they offer. pay is yeah, sometimes a polite way to do things. Yeah. All right, and next thing, uh, I think it's also very important about tips. So how much should you tip? If you're ever in America, tip your waiters, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Why do we need to tip though? Like so, um, I've waited in America before mm. and the way America works, the employees, waiters, waitresses, bartenders usually only make enough for taxes. So when it mm. comes back to you, you only get like one dollar an hour or zero sometimes. Wow. So the only money they make is from tips. Mm. So the more you tip, the more it goes to whatever they have to pay for. Mm. So how should you tip if you are like going to tip? So a tip would probably be from 15 to 20 percent of the entire bill. Mm -hmm. For example, if you bought something that was ten dollars, it'd be polite to tip about two dollars. I see. Uh, yeah, and also probably depends on the like if it's cafe or restaurant or do you tip everywhere? Tip everywhere. Ah, everywhere. Cafes, smoothie mm -hmm. places, some places you may get away with not tipping mm. but it is like tipping is optional always yeah. but it is a nice gesture and especially if the waitress is being really nice to you always mm. bringing drinks on time doing everything fast and polite then mm -hmm. you should give her a little bit extra just for the hard work that they put into their job and if you don't tip they will probably think that oh you didn't like something That's i true. hate when people don't tip me <laughs> just a personal thing because mm -hmm. sometimes I put so much effort into making the food or the drinks and then like presentation and personality conversation mm -hmm. not that I'm doing all of it just for the money but mm -hmm. still it's nice to be appreciated mm -hmm. a little bit and bartending I think is the place where I got the most and least tips from people because of it being just a drink industry, a lot of people think that they don't need to tip because we probably get paid hourly. We don't. Yeah, pretty tough. <laughs> but the tips we did get, considering people were drunk, was a lot. <laughs> they're just everything yeah, they're they just can. like, oh, just take it, keep the change, it's fine. <laughs> well, our next thing is I'm allergic to something. Let's talk about allergies. Yeah. It's very Aller hard, but yeah. It's important. Right. Allergies are really important because what if you have an allergic reaction and you, it's an emergency? Like mm -hmm. a lot of things can happen and a lot of restaurants are catered to the needs mm -hmm. of people with allergies. So if you just mention it to the waitress or waiter, they will take the precautions. Mm -hmm. I've had customers tell me they're allergic to nuts. Mm -hmm. So before we, even knowing there's nothing nut related in the food, we still wash the spoons mm -hmm. twice to make sure that nothing yeah. can go wrong. I feel like nuts are really like 
yeah, really dangerous, right? Yeah, and nuts are a very common allergy as oh, well. Oh, really? Mm, what other allergy? There's also gluten. A lot gluten? of people gluten. A lot of people don't eat gluten just not to eat it, but mm. some people are actually allergic to it. It's mm. something it, that's in bread. It's a lot of carbs, and a lot of people blame it for weight gain. So a lot of mm. people cut it out as a diet. Mm, I see. So gluten. What else? There's also lactose. Lactose, yeah. Lactose intolerant is another allergy. Lactose is being allergic to milk products and mm. dairy products like milk, cheese, cheese. yogurt. Mm. Sometimes you, your stomach just can't take Creams. it. Creams. Mm. Yes. I see. So yeah. So if you have any allergies, probably it's better to tell, right? Mm. How, how can you tell so, to the waitress? There are some ways to say it. One would be, hi, I'm allergic to nuts. Can you just make sure it's okay? Or is there any nuts in this meal because I'm allergic? Yeah. Is there anything like there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's also useful for our next um, yeah, cultural, I, I would say cultural reference or difference is um, specific, um, how to say, type of food that you cannot eat maybe diets, vegetarian yeah. diets or your religious um, yeah values uh, so you can say is there a pork yeah how can you say yeah is there um does it have pork does in it, it have yeah does it have um, I don't know uh, chicken or something like yes. that if you're vegetarian so, so you can ask them is there any chicken in this meal because I don't eat chicken or I can't mm -hmm. eat chicken. Yeah, it's always best or better to explain, yeah. right? Because I feel like uh, in English speaking countries, they would understand that thing. Uh, because I feel like in Japan, you wouldn't say, uh, I mean, remove something. It's kind yeah. of hard to, you know, it takes time. In Japan, the meal is the meal. You don't really tweak it by saying, can I have it without onion or? Mm -hmm. This and that, you just order. They would probably say, like, menu. please, please order something else. <laughs> yeah. Like, politely, you know, because it's hard to change something. Yeah. But in US, it's completely. Okay, yeah, it's completely so normal. Fine. People are just dying to show their individuality. Mm. So they're like, oh, can I have in Starbucks, especially? I know some oh, girls really? that have their order down where, wow. like, can I have a caramel frappuccino with soy milk, no ice, extra foam? <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow, it's completely a new drink. Then. Yeah. <laughs> why they? Why don't they make new, uh, you know, drinks? Because everyone likes it so differently. Some people like mm. it with less foam, more foam. So yeah. it's more, you. It's like a build your own type Custom. thing. Yeah. Mm. I see. I see. That's that's why. But you like you've been in the US, right? So yes. um, what's other like, how to say, products or things you've seen in? Uh, like when you order something? Um, what type of products maybe? There's specific? also like mm, gluten-free, sugar-free, mm. fat-free, mm. taste-free. Like you told me, uh, <laughs> what, what was that? Uh, gl gluten-free, everything-free yes. ice cream? Oh, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I went to an ice cream shop and I'm like, I'm here to be unhealthy. And all mm. I see is sugar-free, calorie-free, no sugar, no milk, no nuts. And I'm just like, can I just no be chocolate. unhealthy? Right? Mm. <laughs> no <you> flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I was just like, I'm out. I'm not eating ice. Like, <laughs> What's the point if you if you don't really enjoy yeah. something like... Yeah, I'm not sure. But I think it's important for people that are trying to be more conscious about mm. their bodies and trying to be healthy. What they eat. Yeah. Mm. Like... Uh, these days, there's a lot more vegetarians, vegans, pescatarians mm. for environment or for personal reasons. But mm. I think it's an important step. And uh, last but not least, we have like kids menu. So what was that? How can we ask something for kids? So like if you have a kid and you're taking them to a restaurant, you'd probably want to ask, do you have a child seat? So mm. the kid has somewhere to sit and won't move around. And then you would probably ask for the kids menu. Mm. I personally love ordering from the kids menu just for myself because American portions are so big oh. that I can never finish it. And the kids menu is just like the perfect size for me. Yeah. Um, some restaurants have a rule where it's like only 12 and under. 
So you have to be 12 uh, years or younger to be able to order the kids meal. Mm. But I always try to ask, do the extra add-on, off thing, can I please order from the kids menu? Mm. And how different is kids menu? Just portion? Or? The portion is more Japanese size, mm. I would say, like what I'm used Compact. to eating, mm. where the normal adult size would be like three giant stacks of pancakes. Wow. And I'm just like... That's yeah. bigger than my face. <laughs> that's why you also told me that uh, mostly you you cannot finish and you just say to go. Yeah. Just box. In America, box. you have to. You usually end up, or I usually end up mm. taking back most of my clothes home. Or clothes, mm. no. <laughs> <laughs> I usually end up taking most of my food home mm. and just save it for another meal. Yeah, and almost anything you can take. Yeah, almost anything, mm. as long as it's not like dripping Water or something yeah <laughs> kind of soup probably yeah. kind of hard so yeah i think yeah th there are so many things we can talk about food oh you're making me hungry again <laughs> <laughs> all right probably we'll get something like sweet uh, right <laughs> after that uh yeah uh Yay. thank you guys for watching um, thank you so if you have any questions if you have anything uh we can discuss please join our community because reika is also gonna be part of our community so if you have any questions about japan us and some specific questions about yeah ask her, me anything yeah yeah what other like maybe interests you have so people know a little bit about you what so. am i interested in uh, i like working a lot which is a very odd thing but yeah you, you're teaching a lot, yeah a lot, i teach right? a lot of yeah. english and i also bartend a lot those are my mm. two favorite things to do right now yeah. you're really social social yes i love working extrovert. with people yes mm. <laughs> yeah, it's like complete opposite <laughs> all day at home and not really talking but you're i need like, to learn to <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> can learn from each other yeah 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 that's that's the best way to to learn so that's why please guys uh, be active and yeah let's just enjoy our time and next time if you like yeah when borders will open you travel please use uh, those phrases we learned today and let's watch uh, our dialogue again but without subtitles all right but let's see you uh, next uh, next time and yeah see you in the community bye bye see you hi are you ready to order yeah i would like spaghetti and mm, soup on the side what kind of soup would you like today what kind do you have we have chicken noodle and tomato soup on the menu mm, chicken noodle please all right would you like anything to drink i would like a glass of wine sure thing i'll bring that right away can i bring you anything else can i get to go box and the bill of course, I'll bring it right away. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed your meal. I did. Thank you so much.